Okay, I wanted to do a really quick video to show you assistive touch. So I went into settings, general, and then I'll go to accessibility, and then assistive touch. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn assistive touch on, and that's gonna bring up this little black square down here. And when you press this, it brings up a box that gives you access to your notification center, to your control center. It lets you press the home button. So in those cases where your home button breaks, this is a good way to access your home button. But the thing I want to talk about is the gestures. Because this allows you to do two, three, four, or five finger taps or swipes, no matter how many fingers are on the iPad. So if you do two, no matter how many fingers I use, one or two, I'm actually using, the iPad is seeing me as using two fingers. Um, and so that can work if you need to do a double, double finger tap, but you don't have the motor control to do two fingers to do the tap. You could do one, you could do five, and it'll give you a double finger tap. Um, the other thing you can do is create favorites. And so I wanted to go in really quickly to show you how to create a custom gesture. So you go to create new gesture, and then you do a tap or a swipe to create a custom gesture. So I'm gonna do a closed pinch. So I'm gonna go across the screen, closed pinch and save. And then I'm gonna call it closed pinch. So now, for example, if I were to go into, say, Safari and open up a page so that it's zoomed, now to close it, you would do a closed pinch, right? So let me show you how you can do a closed pinch now by going into Favorites. So you could do an open pinch, or now I can do a closed pinch. And all I have to do is touch anywhere on the screen, and it does the closed pinch for me. I can do it again. Isn't that neat? So you can set up any gestures you want. It's making everything really small. Um, you can set up any gestures you want, depending on the app you're using. So if you're playing with an app with your child that requires them to do something special with their fingers that they can't do themselves, you could put in a custom gesture using assistive touch, and then they could do the tap, the swipe, whatever it is they need to do by just touching the screen.